For cheap games and codes, go to G2A.com, the link and discount code are in the description. What's up everybody, I'm Shade and welcome to another Top 5. Last time I made my Top 5 Best Players in FIFA 15 and I asked if you guys want me to make my Top 5 Best Cheap Players. You guys said I should and that the players should be a maximum of 10k to qualify, which anybody could in theory afford. So here it is, my top 5 best cheap players in FIFA 15 Ultimate Team. Of course, these are my opinions, I think you'll agree on most of them, and uh, maybe you'll try some of these if you haven't already. Let's get into it, and at number 5, I think I'm gonna surprise some of you because I went with Willian. Now hear me out. I've been using this guy in both UT and head to head since the start of this year's FIFA and I think he's greatly underused. He's the perfect winger or wide midfielder and in head to head I even play him at center mid or camp. His most impressive stat is by far his dribbling combined with pace. I know some people can't afford the likes of Hazard and other similar fast players with very high dribbling and might be curious to know what it feels like to use such a player. Well to those people I urge you to try out Willian. For how cheap you can get him for, he is really up there when it comes to his dribbling. His shooting is also very reliable, of course not up to the par of somebody like Hazard but he'll definitely surprise you with some of his finishing for sure. His obvious drawback is his physical strength but again you have his dribbling and pace to work around that. Now number 4 was a very hard choice I had to make, first I'm gonna tell you that it does belong to Victor Ibarbo, however I had a hard time picking between him and Dumbia because Dumbia is unbelievably good this year and Ibarbo in my opinion is a mere shadow of what he was last year. But in the end I guess I went with the popular choice because even with the downgrade you still should not underestimate Ibarbo. His physical strength and height combined with the good dribbling and obviously good pace which uh, he's known for make a deadly combination and he is pretty hard to contain when used by a good FIFA player. However he does have a huge downside in this year's FIFA, his finishing is awful. Last year he was unplayable, he could head it in and finish it from anywhere and was far better at it than his stats suggested, but in FIFA 15 that is no longer the case. His shooting stat is much lower and it definitely feels like it. So as long as you can keep him out of the box you shouldn't have a problem against him. But now we go to a player that you will be struggling to defend against, at number 3 we find the cheap Ibra, Shikawi. I know this is not the first time you've heard of the guy, but you might not have tried him out yet because of his leak. If you think this car looks good, let me tell you that it plays even better. His double 5 stars, very tall frame, high dribbling, good pace and high agility really do make him feel like Ibrahimovic if he still had his 5 star skills. His shooting is also a lot better than you'd think by looking at his stats, I've conceded goals from this guy that I didn't expect my 90 rated players to score. And if used by a skiller I truly pity the opponent, the fact that he's so tall and agile make him near impossible to dispossess because even when you tackle the ball away from him he just muscles it right back. But you remember I just mentioned some people might not have tried him out because of his league and that unfortunately is his one and only downside and it's a huge one at that because his league and nationality make him very hard to fit in good teams for chemistry reasons and it turns a lot of people away from this guy. You can still have him as a super sub though, you'll have a very overpowered cheap player that can single handedly change games for you when you bring him on. We are nearly there with number 2 being Lacazette. This guy is so good he nearly made number 1. What makes him so OP? I don't even know where to begin. It's just everything with this guy. I started using him after I played against him many times and just struggled to contain the guy. He is only 5 foot 8 but he feels so strong. He will often out jump center backs to score headers but most of the time he's just gonna be blitzing through defenses with his great pace and dribbling. His shooting is sensational as well, with either long shots or close range finishing. If you for some reason haven't used the guy yet, do it right away, he's probably the best reason to build a league 1 team. As I said Lacazette nearly made number 1 with how overpowered he is, but he fell just a little bit short because of how good this next guy is. At number 1 we have Daniel Sturridge. On top of the obvious rapid pace his car shows, he also has this clinical finishing very similar to how he is in real life, it is greatly replicated in the game. Even at 6 foot tall he easily wins headers which make him an overall threat in the box no matter what the situation it's in. But let's not beat around the bush too much and talk about the one drawback his car shows, his 2 star weak foot. That's pretty bad for a striker right? Well yeah, in theory, but let me tell you something, Daniel Sturridge does not have a 2 star weak foot in FIFA 15. If we compare him with another left footer with a 2 star weak foot like Robin, then Sturridge's right foot is miles better and I'd rate it at uh, 3 or even 4 stars. I would compare it to Lukaku's weak foot which is indeed 4 stars. I'm not saying Sturridge's right is as good as his left, 
he won't score long shots or outside of the box finesse shots with his right that often, but uh, you can rely on it inside the box. Now his left foot however is out of this world. I haven't seen such clinical finishing from a left footer since Bale or Messi in this game. The amount of power his shots generate while still maintaining the pinpoint accuracy is amazing. So yes, the weak foot is not a weakness. This guy has no weaknesses. He'll outmuscle the strongest of players, be an aerial threat, finish from any angle, sprint through entire teams. That's why this guy is by far the best cheap player in FIFA 15 for me. That's the end of the top 5, do you agree or disagree? Let me know what your top 5 best cheap players would be. If you enjoyed this type of content, leave the video a like and let me know what you'd like to see next. But I've been Shade, thank you for watching, goodbye.